Hello Grade 8 students! Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Angelita Panuncia. Last video, you have watched Introduction of Rational Algebraic Expressions. And for this video, we will be talking Restricted Values of Rational Algebraic Expression. Kapag sinabing restricted values, yan yung mga hindi dapat isasubstitute na numbers sa ating given variables. Okay? For better understanding, let's proceed in our problem number 1. Okay, so let us check if our given problem number 1 is rational algebraic expression. Polynomial. And our denominator is also polynomial. Since we are solving for restricted values of rational algebraic expression, I-consider lang natin yung ating denominator. Okay? So, ayan. We have x plus 4. Let's solve. Uh, equate natin siya ng 0. Then, solve for the value of x. We have x is equal now to negative 4. Okay? So, it means that our domain... Or, ang restricted values natin is negative 4. And x, such that, that x is not equal to negative 4. And, bakit nga ba hindi pwedeng negative 4 ang values ng ating x? Substitute natin. We have 3 multiplied by negative 4. And, pinalitan yung values ng x. And then, over... Yung x natin, we have negative 4 plus 4. Okay, simplify natin. 3 times negative 4, we have negative 12. Over negative 4 plus 4, magiging 0. Okay, so, sa rational algebra expression, the denominator is not equal to 0. Bakit? Ayan. Dahil kapag 0 ang ating denominator, magiging undefined yung ating expression. Therefore, this one is undefined. Okay? Therefore, the restricted value in our problem, number 1, is negative 4. Okay, next problem tayo, problem number 2. In our problem number 2, the numerator is polynomial. The denominator is also polynomial. Okay, so let's consider the denominator since we are solving for the restricted values. So, x squared plus 5x. Equate natin siya by 0. Yan. Now, x squared plus 5x, pwede natin siyang i-factor out. Meron siyang common monomial factor. So, anong common monomial factor? We have x. And greatest common factor is x. Multiply to x plus and 5x divided by x, we have 5. So, kapag kinek natin, x multiplied by x, x is square, x multiplied by positive 5 is positive 5x. Since, and bumalik sa ating given problem, tama yung ating pagkapaktor. Then, is equal now to 0. Okay? Now, solve for the value of x. So, we have x is equal to 0. And then, the other one is x plus 5 is equal to 0. And so, next, we have x is equal to negative 5. And therefore, the restricted values of our given problem are x is equal to 0 and x is equal to negative 5. And for the domain of this given problem, is x such that x is not equal to 0 and negative 5. Okay? Gets? Okay, so next, let's proceed to problem number 3. Okay, so let's proceed to problem number 3. In our problem number 3, we have 2x plus 5 over x squared plus 6x minus 16. 
the numerator is polynomial, the denominator is also polynomial. And to find the restricted value, let's consider the denominator. Okay, so x squared plus 6x plus 16. Then equate this to 0. Okay, this one is a quadratic trinomial. So, magiging factor is, factor out natin. Um, and since x siya, therefore x, x, and then factors of negative 16. Negative, therefore isang positive, then, and then isang negative. So, pwede siyang 8 times 2. So, 8 dito, and then 2 dito. Check natin. 8 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 16. Positive 8 minus 2 is positive 6. So, therefore, yan ang magiging factor natin. Then, equate to 0. Now, solve for the value of x. So, we have x plus 8 is equal to 0. And then, the other one is x minus 2 is equal to 0. So, our x sub 1 is equal to Transpose natin magiging negative 8. So, ayan yung isa sa mga restricted values natin. Okay? Next, we have x sub 2 is equal to, transpose natin yung negative 2 magiging positive 2. Therefore, the domain of this given problem, or the restricted values of this given problem, is x such that x is not equal to, Negative 8 and positive 2. Yeah. Yes? Next, problem number 4 tayo. In our problem number 4, we have 6x all over x squared minus 25. Okay, polynomial, polynomial. And to solve for the restricted values, consider the denominator. So, we have x squared minus 25. And then, equate this to 0. So, x squared minus 25 is factorable using difference of 2 squared. So, I factor out natin siya. So, we have x plus 5. And then, x minus 5. Yan. Difference of 2 squared kapag... Difference of 2 squared kapag factor out natin siya, square root nito, and then square root nito. The isang positive, isang negative. It's equal now to 0. Okay? Now, solve for the value of x. We have x plus 5 is equal to 0. And then the other one, other solution is x minus 5 is equal to 0. So, solve for the value of x, we have x sub 1 is equal to, transpose natin yung positive 5, magiging negative 5. So, yan yung unang restricted values natin. Next, for the x sub 2, we have x sub 2, transpose natin negative 5, magiging positive 5. Okay? Therefore, the domain of this given problem, or the restricted values of this given problem, is equal to x such that x is not equal to yeah, positive and negative 5. Okay? So, ganun lang sa pagsasolve ng restricted values of rational algebraic expression. So, yan, malinam na alam natin yung different types of factory. Okay? So that's all for this video. I hope na meron na naman kayong natutunan. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share to your classmates, and then if you have clarification, ask your teacher. See you next time!